Street Level Radio, KLYC, The Cruise, and Spruce Goose Radio. We are here once again talking to John Rasmussen, the Interim Executive Director at the Evergreen Aviation and Space Museum. And uh, those folks that are supporting the museum are waiting with bated breath to find out what's the latest news from the Utah Bankruptcy Court in the uh, bankruptcy filing for the Falls Event Center in McMinnville. I guess we have some news to announce. Uh, John, what's going on? We do. The The court has appointed a new trustee uh, for the TFEC, TFM bankruptcy, um, and that is Michael F. Thompson. Um, he was court appointed, um, so not, not picked by anybody on either side. Um, so they interviewed several people, and he, he, he got selected by the court. Um, so that... That is a good news, and it starts the process of being able to look at this thing with a blank sheet of paper and make sound decisions that are not based on one side or the other. So this is a trustee that is does not have any obligations of any kind to the Falls Event Center. It's a person that's unbiased and objective. Right, exactly, and, and that's what you need, and somebody that can dig deep and not worry about what they're going to find. So what does this mean for the museum? So, so what this means is we now we now have a fair shot at somebody actually hearing our story from our side and, and not bringing any pre preconceived notions with them on what's going on around here. And we get to tell our story on how the interaction has gone and where we need to be and where the museum needs to go to survive. Uh, if we could take a long look at where you would like to see this or where the museum, I think, or the proponents of the museum would like to see this wind up, is there somebody in the wings that could step forward and buy the assets and become uh, a benefactor or a uh, new owner of the property that is more – that has a better success record than the Falls Event Center? Right, yes. Um, what we're looking for is a one-owner for the whole operation. I mean, that you really need to have not two landlords, but just one landlord that would see the whole operation and be under just one umbrella. Uh, two just makes it too convoluted for us. Um, there is there is people out there that are interested and are looking um, and looking at the operation. Um, they, they are friends of the museum. They uh, have seen the place, they enjoy it, they see the potential of it, and they wanna see it succeed. Let's talk about the museum, 2019. Well, let's talk about yesterday. It was Christmas Christmas yesterday. Yes. Day before was Christmas Eve. You tell me you had the biggest Christmas Eve attendance here that you can remember. Yeah, we did. Um, usually Christmas Eve, we close early. We close at 1 o'clock. So we, we usually get only about 26 people out here. And, and Christmas Eve this year, we had over 100. And so, and, and it was phenomenal. We just, we didn't expect it and it was great. Um, and then today, um, the day after Christmas, isn't usually one of our bigger days, but yes, we had a really successful day today also. I'm seeing a parking lot pretty full of cars. It is, it is pretty full of cars. And, and we've had a lot of people, um, you know, a lot of people traveling, a lot of people coming out, a lot of people to see the museum. So. What do your tourist numbers look as we look at uh, the trend? Are we increasing? Yes, we are increasing. We run, we run about 86,000 people a year through here and then, and then 10,000 students through here. So it's about 96,000 people a year that come through here. And, so, and then the last two years, we have actually been increasing in numbers. And our memberships have increased also. So if people weren't interested, they wouldn't be buying memberships to the place. John Rasmussen, the interim executive director. Now let's talk about you, your interim executive director, and how long are you going to be interim? I'm going to be interim at least until June. So that, that gives a chance. We have candidates. We actually have six candidates waiting in the wings that are interested in this job. But it to bring somebody in at this stage with the bankruptcy, bankruptcy where it's at and what's going on, it's just easier for me to stay here and help get things stabilized and then bring in somebody after that's done. Looking forward to seeing who the next person is, and thank you for your time. Anything you want to add about the bankruptcy proceeding, Falls Event Center, uh, future of the museum, maybe new exhibits, new projects coming up this year? Well, this year, uh, one of the big focuses we have this year is it's the anniversary of the Apollo flights. And so we started this month with Apollo 8, flew in December. And so all this year, we've got all kinds of stuff on Apollo. We'll be having We'll be having uh, astronauts out here. We'll be having artifacts from Apollo out here. We have all kinds of things going on out here. So watch the website, um, sprucegoose.org uh, or evergreenmuseum.org. 
uh, you can get to it both ways. Um, and yeah, there's that's what we're bringing this year is we're really going to highlight Apollo. So because it's the 50th anniversary. Talking to Interim Executive Director John Rasmussen at the Evergreen Aviation and Space Museum. I'm Dave Adams, KLYC, Street Level Radio and Spruce Goose Radio. Depend on us.